Hello, everybody, and welcome to Sheboygan South Security Fieldhouse, where tonight, Shibu or should I say, this afternoon, Sheboygan South hosts Green Bay Southwest. My name is Chris Wright, and Mike Martin, of course, in a much warmer place in Arizona. So as uh, Coach Hamilton, Leroy Hamilton, came in, I said, hey, would you like to sub in today? He, he was more than happy to, and of course, he has a son on the team as well. But before we do that, Leroy, why don't you tell us a little bit about your basketball background and what you're doing right now? Well, right now I'm currently coaching at Sheboygan Falls Girls Basketball. Uh, I've been there for approximately 16 years. Um, right now we're 6-5, and five, uh, young team, but we're very exciting to watch. And yourself, you played a little basketball, right? Yes, I played at Marion College. Um, I also played, uh, I'm from Chicago, Illinois, so I played at Mount Carmel High School, which uh, had Donovan McNabb, Antoine Walker, Simeon Rice. So those are some of the guys I played with that played pro ball. Yeah, and, and probably his highlights was playing with me at Grant School, the teachers and things. Now, the other night, Sheboygan South got probably their biggest win of the season, beating DePierre. And I was talking to Coach Risto before the game. One of the things about playing DePierre, and that is, oh my God, we're playing DePierre. And sometimes you overlook the kids too, and you can play with anybody. Right. Yeah, I, I thought for me, the, the key of the game was. Uh, Sheboygan South's defense. Um, I think it was it was a step above, and uh, I think that's what really keyed their offense, and that's what I think propelled them to the win. Now tonight or this afternoon, I keep saying tonight. Sorry about that. But today they have to have a bounce back game. You know, you have that big win on Thursday. Now you got to bounce back, and two years or two days later, you got to get that victory and forget about Thursday. How as a coach do you tell your kids yesterday, focusing on? Well, you know, you start off with a light practice, which I think Coach Ring did, and uh, you just get them prepared for today. Uh, I think these kids are excited. Um, they want to win, and I think uh, the excitement and the joy of the game is, is what's going to take them through the game today. Yeah, now I know you've been in some situations, especially in tournament play and things, where you do have to play back-to-back -back games. You know, is that kind of like your philosophy to tell your lady, too, when you have to play back-to-backers? Yes, I just tell them, just, just, just relax and just... I say these girls, you know, they put on the clothes the same way you do. You know, they dress the same way you do. They brush their teeth. They're doing the same thing that you're doing. You just keep it simple. Yes. Now, let's talk a little bit. Your son is, is leading the team in scoring. Very senior, which probably makes you know, things a lot easier for Coach Rank this year. Yeah, I mean, you know, Logan Logan is having a a, a pretty good year, but, I, you know, like I tell him, it's like, you know, it's all meant because of his teammates. It's what his teammates get him involved in, and, uh, and when he's not when he's not involved in the offense, he gets other people involved, and I think that's the dynamic of his team, and that's what makes them so good. And I think, you know, once they get it together, they'll be scary down the line. Well, let's hope they get together this afternoon. When we'll have the Give me a spot. You know my motto, safety first. They could be dangerous. I think we should call animal control. Animal control? To be safe. Don't worry. Just... I got this. It's a new motto. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection. When you throw away money on wasted electricity, you're throwing away everything you could have bought with it. Saving energy saves you money. Learn more at energysavers.com. Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Sheboygan South High School. Today's game features the visiting Green Bay Southwest Trojans against your South High Red Wings. 
One of the goals of high school athletics is learning lifelong values. Sportsmanship is one such value that makes this game an educational experience. The Fox River Classic Conference stresses sportsmanship as a goal and expectation for all attendance at tonight's game. Remember to sport a winning attitude by cheering positively for your own team. To honor America and those defending our freedom, we ask you to stand if you are able, remove your hats and headwear, and place your hand over your heart for the playing of the national anthem. And now for today's starting lineups. First, for the Southwest Trojans, number 11, Jason Simmons. Number 12, Lucas Stieber. Number 24, Carson Landry. Number 33, Will Pitleski. And number 34, Nick Howard. Trojans are coached by John Polkowski. And now the starting lineups for your South High Red Wings. Number one, Jared Splitgerber. Number three, Josh Govac. Number 33, Logan Hamilton. Number 42, Dylan Martins. And number 44, Mike Rank Jr. Rings are coached by Mike Rank, assistant coach Jeff Risto. The officials for tonight's game are Tom Rush, Andy Hansen, and Mike Nepsel. These individuals are registered by the Wisconsin Interscholastic Athletic Association. Their experience and integrity call for them to administer the rules of the game. And today's athletic trainer from Purveyor Sports Medicine is Dave Stecker. Welcome back to uh, Sheboygan South Acuity Fieldhouse. We're about to have the tip off. As I mentioned in the opening, I'm Chris Wright. Coach uh, Hamilton from Sheboygan Falls is here. And of course, his son is out on the floor. And big win by South the other day to up the record to four and four. Two and two in the league. Southwest five up, four down. One and three in league play. But... Uh, they played the pier pretty tough themselves, losing by just two, and they lost to North by three. This is their Southwest third game in three days, Leroy. I wonder if that's going to make a difference. Yeah, I think they probably will have some tired legs, but uh, but I think these kids are young, and they'll probably persevere. There you see Coach Mike Rank. His son, of course, is on the team this year, number 44, and Southwest going to get the first shot off, and it's missed, but... There's uh, Logan with his first rebound of the night. He's averaging seven rebounds a game. That's Rank, never afraid to shoot the three, and he hits it and gives South the first lead of the game. Yeah, that was a, a good open shot for Rank. Set, he had his feet set. Southwest, a very, very young team. They only have one senior on their squad. South, on the other hand, a very senior oriented team but uh, lately the freshman has been leading them there's another miss and another rebound for South but Rank couldn't hold on to it feet got tangled there's a drive and they're going to get a foul there on Logan Hamilton that'll be Logan's first yeah that's pretty foul. early for him to get a foul and uh in the first two, or first minute. That, that's something to watch later on in the game. 
Uh, Simmons got beneath. I hate that when they allow inbound passes because you kind of know and you scout or you, you're a coach, you know how it is. You, you scout against those things and they give up an easy layup like that. Yeah, that, that, yeah that's, that sucks right there. There's a miss there by Hamilton. There's Logan with a nice drive. Puts That's it good. off the glass. Good finish, good finish. 5-2, 16-25 in the first half. Southwest, as I mentioned, is 5-4, and four, just 1-3 and three in league play, but they've played it on a lot of tough games, real close, even in their losses. And there you see a drive and a basket made by Will but Letsky, he's their leading scorer, but just right back comes south, scoring there. Josh Govek with the basket. Yeah, you know, talking to uh, North's coach, he said this uh, Southwest team is uh, pretty fearless with them being young, they're pretty fearless. Seven to four. Gonna get a travel there. As I mentioned uh, a couple minutes ago, Coach, third game in three days. That's uh, a lot of basketball. Not a lot of practices. And I know you mentioned even for South, they had a light practice yesterday. See if their legs are are in it for the Trojans. Dylan Martin's with the turnover. I was just thinking good things about Dylan, and we'll talk about him in a couple minutes, but that wasn't a good turnover. Nice block by Dylan Martin. There's something positive to say, say there. Yeah, there's one thing about Dylan. He's going to give you a 110%. You know, I coach these guys in the summertime. He will give you 110%. I think he's one of those guys that makes South so much better because when he's not on the floor with that height, he's really their only size guy or where I think your son really likes to be on the perimeter. Yep. Not that he doesn't like to mix it up a little bit, but it really makes his game a lot easier. I think he's an important person. And there's that freshman again, not playing like one. Josh Kovic with another three to give South an early 10-4 lead. Well, South looks like they've got the defensive intensity that you mentioned in the opening against to start here coach yeah I think their defense against the pier was outstanding go back to rank rank not afraid to shoot it which was a little bit deep there and uh, dad says I uh, know you'll uh, you'll have to sit down after that one that was that was a little deep yeah it was deep but I, I you know I sometimes I really hate you a one pass and a shot in the off early in offense. Sometimes it's good for it in transition, but in that instance, you know, I, I really not have that. Portion to go baseline. There's another miss there by Simmons, and again Logan Hamilton with that rebound. This time he's going to try to take it to the basket. Cut off well that time by Pitletsky. Nice drive again by Hamilton, and he scores. Logan's off to a nice start with four early points. Well, I think, you know, Logan and Josh uh, Govac, they really do spearhead a lot of their offense for uh, South, which really helps them. There's a miss again, and Hamilton with the rebound, and South trying to push the ball. Again. Oh, and they're going to call a carry on yep. Logan. I think he got a little excited on that one. <laughs> now, you said Logan worked hard this summer as well on his game. Uh, what particular did he work on that he wanted to improve? Um, you, know, you know, we go to the gym a lot, and, and I, I really try to really focus on a lot of the fundamentals with him. Um, it's a lot of stuff that's forgotten about nowadays. So he wants to have a more rounded basketball game is what you're trying yeah, to say? Yeah, I, I really do. I think that's, that, that, that's what I want his focus to be. And, you know, scoring is going to be there, but uh, I really want you to be able to pass the ball, shoot, rebound, play defense, which I think his defense really improved. Uh, that, that's, that's thanks to Coach Risto because he's really worked on him on his defense. Another turnover for Southwest, and normally I keep track of the 
turnovers and things, but not tonight. But so far, that's about four early turnovers. And I'll tell you, they're calling a lot of stuff out on the perimeter today. That We've had this crew. We know these guys pretty well. They're local guys and good officials, but they're not going to let that uh, hand check today and that poking at the ball. No, I mean, the hand check is a point of emphasis this year. Um, so, yeah, that's not gonna, that's not going to fly. But yep. I think you're going to see a lot of stoppage in play today. Golick trying to penetrate in there. Now he loses it for a minute, but Splitty gets it back. That's Jared Splitberger. And now we're going to get early south timeout. Just a 30-second timeout here. Things going pretty well. Nice start for south, Coach. Yeah, I think there is. I think, uh, I think Coach Wayne probably called a timeout because of the, the lack of days ago on uh, defense. I'm an offensive end and uh, a couple of turnovers. And you see uh, Josh just lost the ball there, so I think he's probably going to try to straighten that out and get them on the same path. Now, I know he likes to play a lot of players as well and then kind of keeps his, you know, goes with his token guys later on mm -hmm. to keep the legs and things. I, I wonder if that's because of now the 18-minute halves and things. Do you like the 18-minute the halves as opposed to the old quarter form? I actually, actually, I do like it a lot. And I'm glad the WIA went with uh, the three-quarter rule, so that makes it a lot easier for us. Yeah, they like to drive and penetrate, kind of run a weave, weave action. Splitty got a little deep, but it got knocked out of bounds. Good hands there by Carson Landry. He's just a sophomore for Southwest. Uh, Logan's right back in the game, as is Martins. Evan Optinorth remains in the game. He's number 23, and Jared Govek, number 23, is also in the game. Golvik, ball fake. Here's Optin North. Nice drive. Good move. Kisses it off the glass. Nice person to have off the bench. Is yeah, that it is. Yes, it is. And a senior at yep. that. And I think his dad played on the 88, or excuse me, the 86 North basketball championship team for Coach Desatel, who's in the house tonight. Coach Christensen from Manitowoc and Howard Grove. He's here. I saw. Coach Schumann and Coach Rosowski here. Raleigh Reclitis is here. I mean, we have a bunch of celebrities. Uh, exactly. Must be too cold outside, so they come in inside and watch some basketball. And another short miss by Southwest. And another push by South. Dylan gets it deep. Logan, nice again. Southwest is really struggling to stop dry penetration. Yeah. There, there you're going to watch this. Watch the replay here by Logan. Nobody's stepping up. Nope. And, and they can get that all the time. And I think, you know, what you're going to see here is uh, you're going to see the, the, this, the sophomore team uh, by Southwest. They're going to start getting impatient, and then you're going to see more turnovers. If South stays disciplined, I mean, this can be a route. Yeah, they, they have five sophomores on their team, just 11 on the varsity. I mentioned before, just one senior. And they've been in a lot of basketball games. Like everybody in the league, they're having trouble. They got blown out by Bayport, but uh, they played, uh, they did blow at Notre Dame, who beat North the other day, and there's a nice drive again by South. Evan Optin North. Watch this drive penetration. Slow to react is the defense by Southwest. It's, it seems like the defense is all sunken in, but you know, I think what Southwest is not doing, I don't, I don't see a whole bunch of talking out there, and talking is going to be, be key especially on the defensive end, on the help side as well. Evan, a 69% free throw shooter, misses the first free throw. And the second free throw. So we're going to stay at 16-4. to four. So Southwest has played um, six minutes of basketball and only has two baskets. And another travel. Yeah, that has to probably be like the probably just seven to eight turnover. And we've only played seven minutes, almost seven minutes. Yep. Young basketball teams make mistakes like that. There was a bad.
turnover that yeah, time. Yeah, I think that, that that turnover goes to uh, Logan Hamilton because he stopped his cut and uh, Ethan McLaughlin. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, that was know. good that you had done it. I would have <laughs> given it to Ethan. No. <laughs> yeah, he's not, you know, we tell, we tell cutters, don't stop your cut. I mean, that's on you. There's another rebound by Hamilton. That's at least three. We said coming in, he's averaging about seven. Nice lead fast to the big guy. Dylan didn't do the bad thing there. He didn't bring it down, brought it up, but he just was really it. strong with the You're ball. Right, correct. That's Simmons. Stiber on the drive. Over to Pitlesky, and he puts it in. He's their leading scorer at 22 points a game. He's just a sophomore. Wow. Oh, another pass thrown away by South and an easy layup. And just like that, Coach Rank's going to call that second time out. Yeah, you know, I think that was part of your smart play on uh, Logan Hamilton, you know, not getting up that second foul. I mean, you got to give up something, you know. I'm going to ask you one more question while we got a 30 second timeout here. I asked Coach Rank at the beginning here, how is it like to be coaching your son playing? How is it like for you to? to have your son being a senior. And do you talk a lot of basketball at home or you just kind of not talk about basketball at all when you get home? No, you know, basketball is, is, is ongoing in my house. You know, my son picks my brain uh, about certain things. And, uh, you know, like I said, I try to, I really try to keep him grounded on a lot of stuff. I'm an old school basketball player, per se. Um, so I just really try to help him out with certain things and the court, things that you can see, things that you can make you better and make your teammates better. Sixteen to eight, ten thirty left. Chris Wright along with Coach Hamilton. Leroy Hamilton is glad he came out to help me today. And there's his son putting up a three, a little yeah, short. Don't Good. like that shot at all. Don't like that shot at all. And they're going to get a carry on Simmons, and that's two carries we've been called tonight. Which a lot of days you don't see that called by the officials today. It's good that we're, you know, when they do do that, they do make that call. It's kind of gone away a little bit. Yeah, you know, you know, we saw quite a few of them in the DePere game as well. Um, I, I, I don't remember DePere's best player, but, you know, he got called for one, and uh, I thought he was going to get a technical. <laughs> well, here's Josh Govek, number three, the freshman. He's averaging 15 points a game. Logan's got that same spot there, and this time he will draw a foul. That was, that was a good drive, good up fake. Um, you know, it's a good handoff. And I, and I think, you know, that's, that's become South's uh, forte uh, is getting to the basket and, and, and finishing is key or getting drawn that foul. That's the 14 foul in Southwest. Good form. Looks good. Just a little short. Logan averaging, excuse me, 65% from the free throw line so far this season. Yeah, he misses too many free throws. <laughs> I, call I don't know if that's a dad or a coach talking. That's a coach. <laughs> that's the easiest I shot know, in basketball. I know, it's the easiest shot in basketball. I agree 100% I agree with you. <laughs> Finally got a free throw. One of four from the free throw line for South so far. 17 to eight, 9.55 left here on a Saturday afternoon at South Security Fieldhouse, and there's another Simmons poor choice pass. He is also a sophomore, but again. Yeah, you're looking at probably, like, I'm thinking 10 turnovers in the first half, I mean. Yeah, they you know. not giving themselves opportunities to score when you, you're you just giving the other team a chance to. Yeah, extra possessions. Yep. Well, it looked like Southwest, four of their players were in a zone and one was still in man. And again, the zone did not help keep the uh, Red Wings out of the paint as Logan got there again. And he's going to go right back to the free throw line where he was just a couple seconds ago. And I'll see, can he capitalize? That's in.
Downs in two. A two for two trip for Hamilton. Extends that lead back to 11. Yeah, I think, you know, it, it can get out of hand, like I said, if, you know, if there's a turnover here. Um, but this is a young team, and I know against North, they, you know, they were down 23 and they came back. Oh, deep penetration and a dump. Oh, and they're going to get a foul on Martins late there. Yeah, you, you have to learn to let that one go. Yep. Uh, you know, as. And, uh, unfor and unfortunately, again, for Dylan, which has been a problem a couple times this season, is picks up that second foul early. Yeah, I, I say, you know, you want to try, if you get a, if you get a pick up a foul, you want to pick it up at the, your first foul, probably at this point in the game, the 9 10 point in the game. Um, but yeah, now he has to sit for the rest of the half. And another miss and another. There's another drive by Hamilton. This one he missed it. That time they let let it go. They've been calling everything, and then they Good. let that one go. Southwest not happy about that, but they're going to get one here. On south is Southwest to go back to the free throw line. And that's two on Logan now. Oh, I thought they got Caffeine on yeah, that one. Yeah, I, I thought so too. I thought they got Zachary instead. I know Coach Desatel always, you know, working with him and things. He always, if you got two fouls, you never played the half. Uh, do you coach the same way or do you? is it based on the it, situation? It, it depends. Um, like if it's my score, uh, I'll leave them out for a little while, but I'll put them in there for a minute or two just to get their legs on, just so they're just not so cold coming into the second half. Uh, and it depends on the game. And yep. Sometimes you just got to leave them in there. Yeah, I agree with you. I, uh, I, I coached the same way. I thought that uh, nice driving basket there by Golden. And a oh, and a technical foul on the sophomore, Pilecki. No, no, it was on uh, Govac. It was on three for South Govac. He said something. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, I missed that one. Yeah. No, I was going to get back to the to the uh, free uh, the uh, foul situation. My team is winning. I you know I don't mind if my better players are on the bench, just, you know, with two right, fouls. But right. if, if you're losing, you know, you can't fall behind at halftime by 16, 18, 20 exactly. with your best players on the bench. So I always kind of went, you know, based on the situation as well. But I know Coach Desatel always his kind of general rule is two fouls and you're done. Mm -hmm. As we'll see what they do with Martins and Hamilton here for South. As they miss both technical free throw shots. Yeah, I wonder what Josh said. It, yeah. it must have been something after he scored that the referees and the officials didn't like. And he might be the youngest South High player ever to get a technical foul. <laughs> He looks like he's about 10, Coach. Oh, yes, he does. <laughs> but he acts or plays like he's uh, 18. Yeah, like I said, I, I thought he played phenomenal. The best game I've seen <laughs> him play against the pier. He really did. Now we're going to see how the referees keep this game in check now because it seems to be heated up just a little bit yeah, more. Yeah, well, yeah. Well, you know how it goes. The fans know more than the... Oh, God, it's always yes. tougher on the fans. I think the coaches and players understand how the game is being officiated much more than the fans do. Exactly, exactly. Another miss by Southwest, but an extra chance there on the hustle by the Trojans. Yeah, you, you got to watch it. You, I think the referee's going to start calling a little bit closer now. <clears throat> that time they got rank on a foul. That's just his first. Carson Landry, he's just a sophomore at Southwest. And he takes a one of two trip, but good box out there by Caffeine, but he's got to turn around and grab that one. There's a kick out to Rank, and hit. 
So, you, you know, the rank is slightly high. That's two, uh, two three-pointers in the uh, first half for him. And there's a turnover for Southwest with the charge at 33. And he doesn't like that call either. There you see the tail end of it. Now, Mike Rank Jr. with that three-pointer. That's his 14th of the season. Two behind uh, your son who leads the team with three-pointers. But uh, I think Rank's one of those kids that if he gets hot, yeah, you got to keep feeding him the yep. ball. Like right now, that zone's kind of falling off the... Oh, just a bad turnover there. Good hustle, but a bad turnover there by Golick. Simmons walk. He's a travel. Not even call a foul, but he traveled first. And they're going back to the free throw line again. Both teams going to be in the bonus from here on out. 7.40 left to go in the first half. Well, Southwest has just four baskets, and they've been doing all their work lately at the free throw line. And that's to their favor, stopping the clock. Yeah, coming back with it, not running, but they, they're not making a lot of free throws. I got them three for six so far, coach. And they miss another one, but a second opportunity. Stats missed it there. And here comes Splitty with the Red Wings pushing it out to rank. Wide open, Optinor, no. Rebound there by Landry. And here come the Trojans as he walks, turnover. kicks, and knocks it away with another turnover. Optinor drives to the basket. And they're going to get a foul, and South's going to be shooting some free throws. I think we're in store for a long first half. Well, it's starting to drag right now. <laughs> and I think what you said is they wanted to get a little bit more under control, but that means we're going to be here a little bit longer. Yep. Makes two, 24, 26, excuse me, to 13. Favor of South. Seven minutes left in the first half. Chris Wright along with Coach Leroy Hamilton from Sheboygan Falls girls team. And there's a first three pointer by the Trojans. That's Carson Landry. That's the lead to 10. And again, an, another bad offensive possession by South. Boy, they looked so good in the beginning, and now it's getting kind of sloppy for them. Well, I, th I think what they sometimes what they run into is they, they fall in love with that first shot that because it's open. It's a good shot. Well, that's what they want you to do is take that quick shot. And hopefully you miss it, and now they're back on offense. Being in the bonus. Steiber gets a second chance here. 26-17, 26-18. Favor of South. Off to North. Laughlin. All outside the circle. Splitty tries to drive. He's in the paint, but he gets it knocked away. Golvik right there to take care of it. Those the old left-hander Caffeine misses. And that should be a travel, but it's not. I think it should be almost automatic when they fall down. Oh, there's another foul right there. Reaching. Yeah. You know, I don't know, you know, we try to teach players, you know, you play defense with your feet, not your hands. And, and you know, he got caught with his hand in the cookie jar right there. You know, if you're, if you're coaching rank, how, how long do you leave with your, you know, your two bigs out there yep. on the bench with uh, two fouls when this game is now doing the eight points? 
Yeah. Still an eight-point lead for South. I think that's one thing that's in the positive. And I'll tell you what, Southwest isn't doing anything as far as offense with baskets, but they are making their hay at the free throw line as, as six of the last seven trips down, they basically got, they've been at the free throw line chipping at this lead. And, and as you mentioned, Coach, it's now down to six. Mm -hmm. See if this possession's a little better for the Red Wings. Govic to Govic. Good. South looks a little sloppy right yeah. now. Not sharp. No. Yeah, that kind of looked like a travel too. They just don't look as sharp. I think they're going to get a foul there. That'll be on Landry. That'll be his first. And bonus time now for South. Govic at the line. See see the reach right across his hand. Govic has seven points. He's a 76% free throw shooter. That'll be higher after that attempt. Oh, that one in the basket didn't want it. What we got here? Another timeout, Southwest. It's going to be a full timeout, Scott, so we're going to take a break. With right now, Sheboygan South leading 27 to 20. Your fairy godmother? It doesn't take a fairy godmother to tell you that the right fit means everything. Especially when it comes to car seats. Always choose one that's the right fit for your child's age and size. Oh, that does make a difference. Remember, their happily ever afters are in your hands. To find out more, visit safercar.gov. Welcome back to South Security Fieldhouse, where South's leading 27 to 20 late in the second quarter. South not really looking as sharp as they had earlier, Coach, on offense. Well, I think because, you know, right now they're, they're relying on their bench players, you know, a couple of starters are out, and uh, and I think, you know, the bench players need to, you know, weather the storm and, you know, know their roles and, and take care of the ball. Five forty-five, left in quarter number two. Good drive by Simmons. No box Little out deep. Right there. Yep, no backs out his right. Couple tips there by Pitleski. They're missed. But uh, here, another foul. Well, here's Ray's going to go with the starters off the bench now. Yep. Now we talked about this. Earlier, they're going to get Govic on the foul there, and there's Southwest at the free throw line again. This is their 12th and 13th free throw of the half. Wow. And clock stoppage is in their favor. You know, every time they get to the free throw line, you know, they're in the double bonus. Martins, Hamilton, Rank all back in. All starters for South now on the floor with Spuddy and Govic. And there's Hamilton with another rebound. And another missed by Southwest. Very no. fortunate for South. If you're smart, you get the ball inside. To yep, they're Hamilton. looking, trying to probe Southwest. Looks like they're running a man-to-man, -man, but they really have a collapsing man-to-man. -man. They they really give away the perimeter, collapse, and uh, don't allow too much in the paint. Oh, that's a deep three by Govac, but there's big Dylan Martins with the second opportunity. Rank looking into Martins, gets it poked away. Throws it to Hamilton, who's made a lot of business down there, and there's another basket for him. He's getting a lot of work down there, close to the paint, a lot of dry penetrations, and uh, 
getting rewarded for it, Coach. Yeah, I, w I wonder was Rick was going to go to a zone just to protect the, the guys with two fouls. He went to a 2-3 zone. Yep, and we saw this a couple times this year. He's done played a zone, especially when people have gotten into foul trouble. Martins with good defense straight up there, and another Hamilton rebound. He's got to have a half a dozen. There's Splitty looking, looking. Good skip pass to, to Rank. It's a good decision by Rank. And Martins, a little bit of a push, but going to man up and stick it in there. Use his size. That's a good play by Martin. You know, he uses size, and, uh, and you see the impact uh, those two players coming off the bench have. And even with Rank with that, uh, uh, they played him for the three, and he pulled it for the jump shot. It was a great play. Well, with South up 10, let's see what they do if they decide to take those guys with free throw or foul trouble in there. Good help defense by Slitty. Splitty split, slid down and it took away the weak side. Rank who's been hot, Bango, his third three. Yes, the, 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 he's, he is hot, you know, it was a good outlet pass by Logan, and uh, yeah, this is what happens when you got this, this team that's, that's meshing like this, and you got the five starters in there, and they're, they're playing well now. Yep, and a big run there. Let's see what Coach Rank, if he decides to keep the uh, pedal to the metal here and keep those five guys in there. I think a good point you meant was, you know, when Coach Rank went to the zone to protect those kids with the fouls. And there we saw in the last defensive possession, Splitty sliding down on the weak side there, helping out the big guys. And uh, as a unit, the defense was much better. Yeah, it is. It, it really is. You, you can tell that the, the defensive intensity is up a little bit. Um, you know, again, with a veteran group like this, even though they have one freshman on the, on the court, uh, with a veteran group like this, I think that they could, they could really do some damage. And if they keep communicating, you know, the sky's the limit. Yeah. Seems to be a lot of balance in the conference. Bayport seems to be a little notch about everybody else. They are just a big, big team. But after that, yeah, a lot of these teams could beat anybody. And South is one of those teams that's scary. I thought about it the other day. You, you know, they're, you know, now they're getting healthy, and they're meshing a little bit, and. You know, mention something else later on, Coach. I still got that question for you. We talked about at the beginning uh, about playing all their games early, if that was a big strength for them, because they didn't play over Christmas break, right. and uh, rest of their legs where a lot of teams played over the Christmas holiday. There's Hamilton with a three, just a little bit long. Good extra chance here. Govic over to Rank, who's hot. Oh, and the basket didn't want it, but there's Govic again hustling. Unfortunately, no possession, but do you think that was a big key that Coach Rank playing all his early non-conference games, kind of seeing what he has, mm -hmm. didn't play over Christmas, and now they're all fresh for this for the second half of the season? You know, it, it, it depends on the coach. Me, I like to play because I, my kids beat each other up in practice. I'd rather see them beat up the other team. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I, you know, it, I think it's, 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 a, it's up to the coach. Um, but, you know, with, with this group here, it, it might, might, might work in their favor. Yeah, I just... I know Coach Rank got those out of the way, and uh, Southwest played in the Green Bay Classic, which included the, a lot of the old schools, Notre Dame, Southwest, East and West, all got together to play. Notre, uh, Southwest came away with two victories in that thing over the Christmas break. They're five and four, one and three in league. South two up, two down. There's Rank again, open. That one doesn't look good, and it wasn't. And a, and a rebound there by Stiver. You know, the key thing is right now, South is not fouling, okay? They're not fouling. They're, they're, they're allowing Southwest to dig their own grave with the, with the shots they miss. It was okay. a good wide open shot. Good yeah, pass. Splitty a little short on his three-point attempt. We now roll down to 210 left in quarter number two. Now if I was Coach Rink, I'd get these guys out of there now. Yep, yep, with the fouls late now, they're a little... Getting a little tired, probably not remembering that they have yep, their foul situation. Yep. Have a nice 13-point lead. Probably a big, nice offensive possession here would be important. A little patience. You can see already you mentioned a couple extra passes. And Logan's going to go to the free throw line to attempt a couple free throws. And, and that's what they got to do. I mean, you know, they're in the bonus. Just drive the basketball. And what you got to understand is that they're going to be waiting there to take the charge. Just make sure you pull up on the jump shot or dish it off to somebody that's open underneath. Well, Jared Govic checks in.
short. And Hamilton missed the first free throw. It's right now, it's just a little short. A little bit, a little bit more knee bend, maybe. Mm -hmm. But he's not missing left or right, which is always a good thing. Southwest hasn't had a basket for a long, long time. Gotten some baskets. Oh, see, I just jinxed him. <laughs> Shouldn't have said anything. And a yeah. three-pointer yeah, by Pitleski. Here. Cuts the deficit to 10. Oh, good idea, but you had to get that a little bit higher. That's a turnover. And a miss oh. on the layup by Simmons. I'll tell you what, Govic got pushed. The right call should be south ball. There is no call. Yes, it's south ball. I think that's the right call because it was contact yeah, made. Right, right. You, if you don't want to follow call, right. then at least put the ball in the right direction, yep. which I think it was a good call. Good decision there. Hamilton comes out. They're going to leave Martins in right no, now with a minute 13. No, he's taking Martins out now. Yep. Okay. I, think that's, I think that's the right call. Yep. I didn't see that at guy at the bench, coach. Yeah, I think that's the right call. You don't want to get a charging call. You don't, just don't want a stupid foul here. Yep. Up by 10 with the basketball. Southwest going to sit in the zone, so south of the lead says we'll sit back here and wait. Yeah, I would just wait it out, run the clock A little down. patience. There's a little bit of a man. They went and switched now to man-to-man, -man, kind of. So you can see Southwest basically tries to keep a foot in the lane, which is probably how they're coached. Right. We're down to 40 seconds. Govic trying to get a foul called, using his body. Good job. Finally, he's going to get one. Yeah, uh, it's, uh, you know, I would, I would like to see them to come to a jump stop to get the ball secure because they're coming for the double team. But I don't, I didn't hear, I can't really see or hear if they were talking out there saying double team coming, double team coming. I think the key is, is that when, when you're, when you're, you know, holding the ball like that, you got to communicate and talk so sort of that that blind side double team is coming. Your, uh, your person is aware of it. That's something that's. Even if you're not a really good basketball player and you're just an average basketball player, you can find yourself on the floor helping your teammates. Communication, I just think that's so key too, Coach. I just was a big talker on the floor. When I played, the way I coached, you got to communicate. Call out screens, exactly. call for that when the help is coming or watch out behind. And Yeah, as I get older, I don't move as fast as I want to, so I'm talking all Come the time. Come on. <laughs> There's a three again and back to back threes for There's a three by Govek, a little long, two seconds left. There's a half quarter by Southwest and that's gonna end the half. Well, I think it was a, it was a good half for South. They, they probably didn't want to give up that three-pointer at the end, but uh, I think it was overall a good half. I mean, people in foul trouble, so. All right, when we return, South's going to have a nine-point lead entering the second half. They said a bottle was just a bottle. That no one would ever notice me. But I knew I could be more. That one day, I would make people smile. Food. It nourishes, brings us together, and adds flavor to life. That's why it's important to wash hands, surfaces, and fresh produce. Keep raw meat, poultry, and seafood separate from ready-to-eat foods like fruits and vegetables. And cook to proper temperatures using a food thermometer. Enjoy! And refrigerate leftovers within two hours. For more tips on safely preparing foods, visit Home Food Safety.
safe is that? How safe is that? You ask them to follow some safety rules. Now they're asking you. In fact, they're counting on you. Never let your gun get into the wrong hands. If you own a firearm and are not using it, please be responsible and be sure that it's stored in a safe place. Remember, always lock it up. For more information on firearm storage safety, visit ncpc.org. Listen to me. I am captain of the track team. And if I'm late, she doesn't I'm really think she's going to get out of here, does she? Be nice. She's new. Hello, is anyone there? Ooh. Wow. Even from our standards, you look awful. Oh, sweetie, what happened? Me? My friend Becky got to talk to this super cute boy, and I tried to act like I wasn't jealous, but I so totally was. And then out of nowhere, this concrete barrier just popped up. Maybe it was a semi. You mean you were driving? Yeah. I mean, I know the whole eyes on the road thing, but this was a super important text. Maybe you have to know Becky. Uh, texting? Great. But I, it was only like five seconds, and I'm a really, really fast texter, so it wasn't even a big deal. Actually, did she text me back yet? Wow, I get like no bars in this place. I wonder if they have Wi-Fi here. Food. It nourishes, brings us together, and adds flavor to life. That's why it's important to wash hands, surfaces, and fresh produce. Keep raw meat, poultry, and seafood separate from ready-to-eat foods like fruits and vegetables. And cook to proper temperatures using a food thermometer. Enjoy! And refrigerate leftovers within two hours. For more tips on safely preparing foods, visit homefoodsafety.org. Oh, sweetheart. Can I give you a hand? No thanks, Dad. I got it. Okay. I'm going to go fix the lamp in your room. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of children in foster care who will be with you. I'm one on Lucky Guy. The chance of being involved in a robbery is 1 in 757. The chances of being struck by lightning... 1 in 750,000. These fasten your seat belts for unexpected turbulence. The chances of being a victim in an airline crash? One in 29 million. Hey, could I get some peanuts? The chances of being involved in a car crash are far greater than lightning strikes and plane crashes. And if you are texting while driving, your risk of crash increases 23 times. Now, I may be an unlucky guy. But I don't have to be part of that statistic, and neither do you. Drive responsibly. Traditional light bulbs actually generate nine times more heat than light. Switch to Energy Star light bulbs and you'll realize just how much cash you are really burning through. Saving energy saves you money. Learn more at Energy Savers.
sun, wake the sun, wake the sun, wake the sun. Getting closer to nature can get you closer to your family. Go to discovertheforest.org. The smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Take time to be a dad today. Here we are, 2013. We all depend on technology to communicate, to bank, and none of us know how to read and write code. The first program I wrote asked uh, things like, what's your favorite color, or how old are you? I wrote a program to play tic-tac-toe. I first learned how to make a green circle and a red square appear on the screen. You're just trying to make something, trying to transfer something from your mind to the computer or to, to a tablet. is. Uh, it's, uh, it's an experience. The whole limit in the system is just that there just aren't enough people who are trained and have these skills today. The programmers of tomorrow are the wizards of the future. You know, you're going to look like you have magic powers compared to everybody else. Great coders are today's rock stars. That's it. Welcome back to uh, Sheboygan South Security Fieldhouse, where Sheboygan South leads Southwest 36 to 27 in a game that South pretty much was comfortable at the, at the beginning of the game, and then Southwest creeped back, but a late run by the Red Wings sent a lead back to uh, nine. Uh, Chris Wright, along with uh, Coach Leroy Hamilton, Mike Martins in Arizona for the uh, week. Uh, Thoughts, Leroy, about that first half? You know, I, I thought uh, South came out uh, with a little bit of confidence and, you know, he had some early foul trouble, which I think gave Southwest a little bit more confidence as well. Uh, but you can see that South starters, is, I think, is a little bit more superior than Southwest starters. Yeah, I, there's, I agree with you. The, the better team so far it appears to be Southwest. Uh, Logan Hamilton led all scores uh, with 11. Uh, Govek, number three, the freshman, had ten. Uh, Mike Rank with his three threes, he had nine. Uh, Dylan Martins had two. Evan Optinorth had two as well. For uh, Southwest, their leading scorer, Will Pinleski, who leads him in scoring, he had uh, ten points. And Lucas Stiber, he had eight. So there's the first half stuff, and South opens up with an empty trip. Yeah, I didn't like the shot selection there. I mean, they're really patient at offense, and it's a kind of a bad shot. And there's an, a miss by Landry. Southwest hit a couple of threes late in the first half, but 
really struggled on uh, offense for them. But they do have 27 points. A lot of it was done at the free throw line. There's a, a good effort made there by Pinlewski, but it wasn't going to fall. And here come the Red Wings. That split Gerber over to Martins, but Martins left his post position when the ball came. Not much you can do about that one. You know, what I try to teach the post players to do is you know, kind of show your hand up to say you want that pass, almost like the NFL players do on a, you know, a wide receiver wants to jump ball. Yep. Um, and that's, that's kind of what I tell my post players to do. Hamilton probing over to Golvec. Rank, who hit those three threes in the first half. Here's Splitty. That's, that's, that's he, a, no, that was good ball movement right yep. there. You get an open shot. What? Oh, come on. Can't let that happen. Yeah, not back on defense. Splitty's more of a glue player, not a big scorer. Uh, he does average six points a game. Missed that one there. He hasn't scored yet today, but he kind of does all the little things. Golvik got it. The ball kind of stuck on his hip. And Hamilton, who's basically driven to the basket from the right side all day, and they have... Yeah, you know, what I try to tell, tell uh, Logan Hamilton, yeah, my son, is, you know, what's lost, what's the lost art is the intermediate range. You know, it can't be a three-pointer or all to the basket. You got to be able to do all three, you know, all three phases of the game on offense. Nice pass to Martins on the basket. Yeah. Well, that was a great pass. Yeah. Well, the drive penetration made the defense kind of kick up, which left a little gap there. Mm -hmm. and and Dylan was open, and a nice feed there by the freshman to the senior. 38-29, 15-30 left. Southwest, or excuse me, South going to remain in that zone. They played that late in the first half, and it seemed to work. There's a kick out. I think the he drive. Got away with a couple of travels. There yeah, I was there. just going to say a travel there by Pitlowski, but he makes it again, just a sophomore. There you can see the travel on the replay as well. Logan looking inside. There's a three-pointer by Hamilton. Good! And Logan's not afraid to shoot that three. He leads the team in three-pointers. Yeah, you know, I think, you know, they, they, the South needs to start, you know, trying to pin up some of the some of their lead players that scores to try to help them out here. Now, you know, what, what I think young players should need to start learning is try, try to feed the hot hand. You know, I thought they should have fed Rake a little bit more in the first half because you know hit those three threes. That's a good move. That's good patience by Split, uh, Jerry Split Gerber. Yep, and Splitty's finally on the board with his first basket. Extend that lead back to a dozen. There's a three-pointer by Simmons in and out, and Martin's with the rebound and another foul. A lot of fouls being called tonight, yeah. today, but you got to adjust to it. Mm -hmm. Long first half of that. We already have two fouls within the first four minutes here. Now here's the lone senior coming in the game. We saw him in earlier. That's Marcus Roschenbach. He does uh, play football. He's a big kid, and he's a baseball player. He can hit the ball a long way, Coach. Oh, really? Oh, yes. Yes. Uh, but uh, number 44 is their lone senior. And there is a bad turnover, which leads to an easy basket on this end, and it will lead back down to 10. But I never really feel uncomfortable about South's lead or like they feel threatened, but they still seem to give up some easy baskets that I wish they wouldn't do. Right, exactly. I, I just think, you know, there's some complacency that comes into play there. Um, you know, like I tell my, you know, I tell my girls, is, you know, you want to take the life out of them. You know, yep. While they're down, take yep. the life out of them. And I'm sure Coach Rank probably said that, too, to start the second half. Let's have the first five minutes be the best five minutes we have and uh, right, put right. these guys out of, you know, like they, they, they don't belong in our gym. Exactly. Govic penetrating. Hamilton hit a three a minute ago, and he hit up another one. So all of a sudden, Logan found the range. You know, it's a good job by Jerry Govac finding them, and I, and I think those two could feed off each other, you know? 
because they can both score at will. That was just a nice pass and a nice block though by Martins uh, uh, on Finletsky. Hamilton feeling it. Split, he drives to the basket and scores uh, and looks for a timeout by Southwest uh, here. No, they're gonna, yes they are. Yes they are. You know, that was, it was a good run by South. I mean, they, they're really, you know, showing their punch, uh, the way, to, the way they're able to get the ball inside. It'll be a 30-second timeout, so we'll just leave it here. Coach, now that Logan's hit some of those threes, it'll probably create more driving lanes for the team. We saw Splitty do that as well, but we'll see if Logan can go back to doing that as well. Yeah, I, I think that uh, right now, you know, when you start hitting threes and you're taking it to the lane, so which one are they going to take up? They have to give it one of them. And, uh, you know, it has, it's up to the player to, to recognize what the defense is giving you. A nice start for South here. This is, a, this is a nice start to the second half for them. I think they, you know, Coach Rank, whatever said to him, whatever Coach Rank said to him in the halftime, it probably fired him up just a little bit. Southwest looking against the zone. They put up a three and they hit one. That was Carson Landry. I believe that's his second three. I was trying to, that's what I was thinking. Was it the earlier three? Pass couldn't get quite through there. Another turnover by South. Here comes Southwest down by a dozen with a dozen minutes left in the ball game. And there's a three miss, but a rebound by Rank. Out to Golvec. Starter basically playing the entire first six minutes of the second half as Govic drives and gets fouled. His brother, the sixth man of the team, Jared Govic, going to come into the game. As is Ethan McLaughlin. At least he's sitting forehead. Yep, Zach. Kathine come in and is, I assume Opka Norris will be the other one coming in. And it is. Oh, it's all five. He's doing all five. Oh, is he doing five? No. He's oh. going to leave Splitty in there. Splitty hits that first free throw. First free throw shot here in the second half. First half, I have South 9 of 13. That's unofficial. And as soon as I say they've been doing it well, they miss one. Southwest, on the other hand, 8 of 14 from the free throw line. You know, well, one thing that's helping South out, I mean, uh, Splitty's looking to be a little bit more aggressive, and I think that's, that's to South's benefit, because they're going to add a, another dynamic score on the floor. It's a good pass. Off to North, goes right to the basket. I would have liked to see him take that open, sh open shot. Yep, there, that intermediate shot would have been nice. With the little pull-up, it would have been like a six-footer, but yep. when he got too close to contact, the, the angle of the basket kind of disappeared. Mm-hmm. Nice swing inside. A Southwest probing, but runs right into Optin North. Now that wasn't a very good offensive possession by Pileski, their best player. Another drive by South. Good take. Oh, the basket didn't want it. And the big man with the rebound, Rauschenbach. Yeah. You know, I think South can really run on this team. Oh. Uh, with that, uh, with, with 44 in there, Aschenbach, I think his name is. Yep. Um, I think they can really look to run on this team right now with this with their current lineup. Well, our next ball game will be next Saturday night, where South will be traveling, or excuse me, North will be traveling to this field house right here for our annual North South game. I'm sure we'll be on live approximately 5:50 that night. Uh, girls' game at six, boys' game to follow. I see Coach Worth is in the house, and I heard he was asking why you're doing this, and you should have just told him it's because I'm better looking than you, <laughs> Coach. Yeah, you know, I, I work with Coach Worth, and uh, <laughs> I see him at work all the time, so we have, we have a blast. Yeah. Oh. That is exact, that is the right call. That is exactly the right call. Well, four fresh... South players in. Now watch, I'm going to take the extra step here. This is an easy call. Yep, that's yeah. an easy call. One, two, three. That, that was the right call. Southwest fans don't like it. No. So 
Remember, fans knows everything. <laughs> like I, I kind of mentioned before, I said, players know the game, coaches know the game, and how the game is being officiated and what officiates there. But the fans seem to always want to know more. And there's another three. It's time by Govac. He's up to 13 points. And it's now a 14-point lead. Oh, and a counter. Yeah, he's hit the two from that spot now in this half, so that's something to watch. Yep. I think he has three in the game now. Three of those in the game does uh, Carson Landry. You know, they just don't seem to go away, Coach. Nope. I'm not, like I said before, worried or concerned or even threatened yet, but they don't go away. No, I, I said, you know, they did that to North. You know, North blew that lead. Um, and they were, they were about 23. So they're, they're very capable of being fiery. There's a nice penetration by You know one thing I like Evan. about that? He finished off two feet. Yep. Now, I believe he's got six points. Off to North. And again, that leads 13. Simmons with an air ball, and Hamilton with another rebound. He's got a bunch tonight. I keep saying tonight, and it's afternoon. Yeah. We're not used to these games. No. It's like a college game. Played in the afternoon. Another turnover by South. They're going to get Govic on the bump. That'll it, be just South's second foul of the half. You know, one thing I, I wish players would do more of it, they feel like they got to keep hugging them, keep hugging them while they're dribbling. Your run, slide, run, slide. And I think that's, that's the, the, the misinterpretation of defense. We want, we want you to move your feet, but you have to, you want to cut them off from getting to where they want to go. Use your body more than your hands. Correct. It's all about your body position. Oh, Simmons with a little push off and a turnover. Here's Hamilton on the breakaway. Drives to the basket, gets fouled. I think uh, Hamilton got away with a the walk there. <laughs> <laughs> the Southwest fans think so. I don't think so. Let, 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 I was going to see what we, we oh, see it on the monitor. No, a little late on the replay there. Regardless, so Logan's going to go back to the free throw line. That's better by Logan as he hits the first. Like I said, his form is right there. It's not left to right. He was a little bit short a on a couple of his in the first half. Right, I think he leans back and get his legs involved into it. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm, I'm more critical. I could tell. <laughs> Those are two good ones, though. 56-41. Yeah. Nine minutes. You know, I, would, game. I, I would like to see them put a stranglehold on this and really just take it to them right now and lock them yeah, up on defense. They're starting to creep away a little bit. Now it's back up to 15. Get a stop here. Let's Good help we... defense by Govec and Martins. But they're going to get Martins on the foul. He would have just stood up straight, I yeah, think, Coach. Yeah. I think that, you know, it, and I think sometimes, you know, when, when they get those fouls, those blocking fouls, they say you, they, you want your hands to go straight up, but when typically when a man goes into you, your hands are going to go down in. So I think that's a, a double-edged sword. I thought he was in good help side position. I agree. And the guy came, you know, he's floating into him, so what else is he supposed to do? I know? agree. I thought he had good help position, too. That's why I said good step up right before yep. the foul. He did the right thing there. But I think uh, Southwest just missed the free throw, didn't they? Yes, they did. I should have write that down. And you did a good job of making sure they wouldn't make another one. A lot <laughs> of contact there. Uh, Southwest now 8 of 16 from the free throw line. Just 50%. That's not helping their cause. South's going to have to get another stop now on the reload after the two missed free throws. Good help again by Martin. Good help by Optinor. But a good, better basket there. Nothing you could do there as Stieber puts that one in, number 12. He has 12 points to match his number. And we're going to turn over and a foul. And that's going to be the third foul on Novak. And as I look at the board... No, I think they caught it on Southwest. They call That's off. twice I missed things now today, <laughs> Coach. I watched that and I you saw Govic. You think it's nighttime? No, I thought, <laughs> I thought they were going to go the other way. I don't know. On the frustration as, a, as opposed to the uh, yeah, I, push. I, th I, thought, I, I thought Govic probably got away with one there. We'll take it, though. Yeah, of course. 
Split Gerber, Govec, Rank, Hamilton. Two Govecs out there. Rank looking for that 4-3, misses. He's right on, though. Southwest trying to push, drive to the basket. Good left hand and in for the sophomore. Pitkowski, he leads them. Pitlowski is what it is. With 16, Splitty with a three, that's short. Uh-oh, Southwest with another breakout. They got a three on one, goes right to the basket, and they're gonna call block on Govac. Are they gonna count the basket here, coach? Yeah, I think the N1, yeah, basket is good. So it's down to a nine point lead with one free throw coming. I didn't think this was a good decision. I mean, he ran right over Govac. I think I would have made that extra pass, but mm -hmm. he got away with it. Well, a minute ago it was 56 to 41. Yeah, they, they, I don't like how they let this team hang around right now. Now they have an opportunity to cut it to eight. And he misses again, another missed free throw. This game will be tied if they hit the free throw. So I think it was that nine misses unofficially. Maybe. Yep. Yep. That's what I got. Got to call that one. Yep, that's uh, a blocking foul. Sixth foul on Southwest. Next time, bonus for South. Seven and a half minutes. South still up by nine. South, of, excuse me, Southwest hasn't been really close since late in the first half when they were within six at 27 to 21. Up to North, Kovic, penetrating, kick, splitting, push. Nice drive. Better patience, I think, by South yes. with the nine point lead and the basketball. Good decision there by Splitty yep, to reload. Reset. Yep. Coach Rank likes it as well. Not closely guarded, Splitty drives, tries to kick it over to Martins, but he turns it over. South travel. To, yep. He stutter stepped when he started the drive. I was going to yep. say, South's going to have to clean up those turnovers if they're going to keep yes. this winning streak going. Yes, they are. Coach Ring is going back to Logan Hamilton off the bench. And just like late in the first half, Southwest is at the free throw line. Again, if they just keep missing, I have right, four right. misses now for them. Right now, uh, Southwest is their own enemy right now. That's going to be long. I knew that was long when he let it go. He was trying to overcompensate, yep. Coach. Eight of 19 for feet. Wide open is Obdenorth. Great pass there by Logan, but can't finish. No. But he did get the... Uh, you know, one, the foul. one thing I, I wish more players would do is, uh, well, I tell my players when they're when they feel rushed, go a pump fake. Pump fake. That's a, such a lost, another lost art. Um, if he would have had a nice little pump fake there, he would have got. You know, I think he would have made that. And now it turns out to be a good foul as Evan missed that first one. Mm -hmm. Six three senior, 69 percent from the free throw line this season. Got the second one to go, though, which is important because it puts it back to a double-digit lead. Six and a half minutes left on a Saturday afternoon at the Sheboygan Cutie Fieldhouse. Chris Wright along with Coach Leroy Hamilton. Marty's in Arizona. And another opportunity at the free throw line for Southwest which I guess that the way it's going is not a bad thing for South because they can't make any. Oh, they're going to call it before he shot it up there, so they have to take it out of bounds. Next time, Southwest will be in the bonus as South is now. That's just a bad pass and a good turnover for South. Govic with a dipsy and a do, and he gets it to go. Uh, that was a, a creative shot. <laughs> That's right. I don't think we coach that. Coach. No, you don't coach that. That's all talent right there. Here's a three-pointer by Simmons, and he finally gets one to fall. 
59-50. Third three-pointer made by Southwest in the second half, and there's a bump. Well, uh, South is at the free throw line. See, that's just bad defense. You know, when you're leaning over, that's easy for an official. Exactly. I know when you're leaning at the player like he did there, yeah. it's just bad, bad defense. It's easy for an official it's, to call it's, that. Yes, yeah, it's easy. I mean, any kind of reaching, slapping, it's just such an easy call. Even if you don't foul him, it looks like a foul. Just, yep. you know, move your feet. Yep, stay in front. No, I think uh, Oppenroth has had a, a good game off the bench. He has uh, eight points, and I think I think that's a that's solid when you get a you know a person off the bench scoring eight points. Well, I've always said that one strength that uh, South definitely has is they're deep. Yes. They play, you know, nine kids, and you know they all can contribute and they can all help. Which, you know, especially in these longer games than the uh, the old system, I think that definitely benefits them. Nice drive penetration on the basket. Just went right through the uh, middle of the south zone at the time. And it's still a nine-point lead, though, for south. Rolling under 5-15 in the ball game. Goldback with a three. Another country heard from. I only have him for six threes now in the season, but that was a big one. Yeah, I would like to, you know, I think uh, this, the South is still in the 2-3 zone. Yep, and, but I heard communication that time when Landry had the ball, their three-point shooter, to make sure that they get out on him quickly. There's a three attempt and a big rebound attempt by Upton North, but he's going to be fouled, and guess where he's going? To the free throw line. Well, he just hit two. Yep, and you added he has nine points as a chance to get to double figures. Hamilton leads. South with 19. You know, like I said, I, you know, I, again, I got to commend, you know, what uh, the coaching staff has done with the defense. I say, you know, you, you see a whole different mentality as, you know, since Risto took over the defense. I, I think it's a, a, a more of a pressure mentality that they really want the ball. And uh, that, that, that's a tremendous, uh, you know, asset to the you know, coaching staff. And a two-for-two two trip for South. They're up 66 to 52. Simmons with a miss. Govic with another rebound. It's getting awful late for the Trojans now. They're going to have a tough week if they lose this one. They'll be 0-3 on the week. South trying to pick up two wins. And uh-oh, Josh Govek hobbled a little bit on that. Hopefully he'll fight right through that. We got a little knee in the uh, little thigh area. Split Gerber told him, just get up to the line and make the free throws, kid. <laughs> Hey, this is no time to uh, play hurt. <laughs> All right, we're going to have a full timeout by South with, with that. We're going to take a break, Scott. It's 67-52. We'll be back in a moment. perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of children in foster care who will take you just... Yeah, right now. Welcome back to South High School, where we are. We are live. We're on right now out there. We're South leads 67 to 52. On a Saturday afternoon makeup game. We had a, a snow game back in December where basically the entire state on Friday night was shut down. So 
decided to play this in the afternoon. It was nice of the Green Bay Packers to make sure they would play on Sunday <laughs> so we wouldn't be interfered as well. So I said our next broadcast will be next Saturday night where uh, North will travel to South in the annual North-South game. Which should be a good one. Should be a, a good one. I see uh, he had to pull Josh out. Um, he's hobbled. Yeah, he's hobbled a little bit. I think he's got a nice little Charlie horse in that uh, thigh area. 68-52. And uh, Southwest can't hold the ball very often if they intend to win this game. And again, he's got to be a good player, Coach. Yeah, he uh, is. Yes, he's... He is. Uh, Got 22 points right at his average. Just a sophomore. Got to get a little bigger, a little stronger, but. Uh, I, you know, I, I think South, South is trying to dribble through this press, and I, and I like to pass through a press. Yep. You know, ball fake pass. You know, they're, they're missing some open people down the floor, and, um, and, and you know, I, I, think I would like to see them uh, uh, pass the ball up. Richard just informing that this game, even though it's live, will be on Tuesday at 7, Wednesday at 2 p.m., and Friday at 7 o'clock as well. So three nice rebroadcasts. And again, I want to thank Leroy Hamilton for coming in and filling in. Yeah. I knew when I saw you, you'd do it, though. Yeah. I was hoping. I, had a I thought about you all morning, by the way. I hope that's not <laughs> a scary <laughs> no, thought. No, that's not a scary thought. I had a lot of fun. <laughs> is, uh, you know, I really like this. Three and a half minutes left. And that's something South doesn't want to do is turn it over with the nice lead. Give them the basket. That's all right. You're still up 13 with three minutes left. A lot of time left in the game. Yeah, 33 has 24 points for yep. Southwest. Yep. Pitleski, leading scorer, just a sophomore. We said he came in averaging 22 points a game. You know, like I said, you know, again, I'm not, not hard for it. They're dribbling too much, you know, up on this press, you know, and their eyes are down when they're dribbling, so therefore you can't see what's in front of you. You're luckily there, you know, Southwest is in foul trouble. I'll tell you what, South's been pretty good at the free throw line. I don't, uh, well, they just, just two misses they got us in the in the half. Uh, that's and now that's South's going to call timeout. That's huge. All right, we'll take a quick break. Maybe our last break of the day. South up, 71.56. They told me a bottle couldn't dream. That I would never become a superhero. But I learned how to fly. Just to come back in a new disguise and be the hero that I've always wanted to be. Welcome back to South High School where South leads 71 to 56 and they're doing an awesome job at the free throw line. 12 of 14 here in the second half, 21 of 27 in the game. Now that's unofficial, but they've been real clutch uh, to keep this lead here, where which really hasn't been threatened much no. once the big start of the second half, right, Coach. Right. I, I think, you know, it started, they, they, the starters came in and, and did what they were supposed to do in that uh, second half and uh, really uh, took control of the game. Josh Govek not in the game right now. He's a little banged up on his foot, so his brother Jared's in there. Otherwise, the other four starters are in there, Splitty. Rank, Martins, and Hamilton, and that's not a good foul. I don't, I don't know. Who you know me. I, I can't I can't stand falling jump shooters. No, just, I, that's a pet peeve of mine. Yeah, I, I would love to see the replay. Of that. You don't think he got him there? I don't know. If, if it was, he, he, he touched it with a feather. <laughs> Southwest, on the other hand, not been good at the free throw line. Watch it here. Oh. 
Oh, <laughs> oh, you might be right there. I don't know. Josh Kovac ready to go back in the game. That's the first free throw I have made by Southwest in the second half. Wow. Now, again, I may have missed some. But I have them one for seven. Wow. One for seven and... Like I said, they, they, their free throws is, is what... I got that one. See, I talked that one in for them. Under three minutes. Another foul. It's been a long game, Coach. It has. It's yes, been it a has. long, long game. Lots of fouls, lots of free throws. I have to go to my grandma's coach after this. She's 94, having us to her house. And, wow. Uh, so, uh, Me, I'm just going to relax this afternoon, and then we got to do some stats for my last next game. And uh, Well, I hope my grandma has some, like, good hors d'oeuvres and stuff to eat. Well, Otherwise, you know, that's... Uh, that, that's I've been counting on that. That hey, that's, that's nothing wrong with that. Yep. And football's on, too. Yep, and football. My grandma's a big fan of all sports. She watches uh, football and basketball. Loves the Brewers in the summer and watches the Badgers and... If she remembers, she does watch our telecasts and things. I don't know if she she remembered that I had to come here before going over there. But uh, So are you rooting for the uh, Packers or the Giants tomorrow? Well, of course, I'm, I'm a big Packer fan. So. I'm a but Chicago you're, Bears fan. You're a big Bear fan like Marty, I know. I know you would, when we used to play buckets together, you and Marty would cling together and always have to be on the same team. Except there was never enough basketballs for the two of you because you both <laughs> shot too much. I miss those days playing with you guys. Yeah, I, I, I miss those those days. That was, a lot of, that was a lot of fun. I know that sometimes they still play out at Kohler and Oostberg a little bit, but uh, it's been two years since I've played, and I miss that. 74-58 in favor of South. And again, yep, good defense by Rank here. Give up the two. Yep. And as it, as it turned out, Howard missed. The uh, the uh, easy basket. Southwest in a in a press zone press two two one. Govic's wide open, so he's going to shoot it and hit it. And why not? Yeah. His ninth point. Govic and Hamilton. The, old, the younger Hamilton, or excuse me, the younger Govac with 19, and Govac with 9, Rank with 9. Of course, we talked, I, I believe, uh, Optinorth, too. He's got 10 today, so good performance by a lot of players. Um, close to uh, almost five guys going to be in double figures for South. Yep. And 77 points, and there's still two minutes left. And it wasn't like they, it seemed like they... Had a barrage of scoring either. It's no. just kind of a workmanlike job by South today. Yeah, you know, uh, I, I think it was a lot of balanced scoring. And, and when they're playing like this, it, it, it's tough to beat. I mean, it's really, really tough to beat. I got to remind your son not to drive into the corner over there. Well, you know, yeah. That's the no-no spot. That, 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 is, that is a no-no spot. Yeah, because you're I, pinned up against the... Uh, the uh, half court line, and then your triple team there, and yeah, Coach right. Rank bailed him out there. Yeah, with the I'm, I'm, not, I'm going to remind you that your son went to the wrong spot there. Well, he should I, have I, I crossover I, dribbled and brought it back to the middle. I think of the I'm going to take his car away from for the night. <laughs> <laughs> so when do you play again, Coach? Uh, we play last night, and we don't play the next Thursday. Okay. Couple days to practice then. Oh for yes, you. yes. We had a nice. Little Coaches hour. love practice. I mean. Kids love the games. Coaches love the practices. You got it. You I got know. It. Uh, I did basketball for 11 seasons. Coach at a tell in the year of varsity, and still do baseball. And people ask, why do you like it? Well, I love the the practices. The games are, of course, are enjoyable. I love the competition and the competing. But I like the I like just I like the the coaching part. I like in the gym part, and of course the relationship with the players too. Exactly. Exactly. But uh, I love practice. I enjoy it.
Be strong with the basketball. Logan pushes up and scores. Oh, he did. Finish off two feet. Five new players coming in for South. Yeah, I think it's, I think that's a you know a really good move by Coach. Uh, oh yeah, uh, player uh, kids. Yeah, play, yeah, player kids, Coach Ray. That's a, I think that's a, a classy move right there. Trevor Ladwig is out of luck though. He has to hope that Logan makes the free throw. Well, what, what, the way Logan shoots it, I don't know. It's a 50-50 <laughs> chance. Oh, no. He, he's been good, pretty good today, especially in the second half. He's converted his free throws. Missed a couple in the first half. That one's right on. And he's going to finish today with 22 points. Just a little bit above his average. 20. I got him at 20.4 points per game coming in. Let's see, we got... Someone who I really uh, like, Jared Henderson, the sophomore. I like the way he plays. He's number 11 in the ball game. Mm -hmm. Jacob Case, number two, is in the game, along with McLaughlin, we've seen earlier. And Ladwig, we mentioned also, uh, he had to, to wait. Well, you got Caffeine in there? Yep. Caffeine, he played earlier yep. a little bit today. And uh, welcome to the game. Uh, Jared Henderson because Southwest just brought in Marcus Rauschenbach to stand in the paint. Bang, bang around with you a little bit. That's, that's, that's a big key. He was a big force on the football team I, what, when we had him in the fall. And there's a long rainbow three by Caffeine. Yeah, that's, you know, he might hear about that from Cole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, not under two minutes. There's a new player in. Kale, Kale, uh, another, we don't have him on the roster. So he must have been off the JV. I think Kale, uh, Caleb Keener today was sick, and I think their leading score, or second leading score, Cole Boucher, also didn't play today. So Southwest was a little short handed. Uh, I don't remember seeing Boucher out there at all. Um, so they brought up a couple sophomores, too. Yeah, I think this this team is going to be uh, wrecking with them. And you got sophomores playing already at the varsity level. I think this you know, next year. You know. Yeah, they'll be a little better, a little bit more experienced, a little bigger. Um, like I said, they've played with a lot of teams. They beat Notre Dame by 19, who uh, the other day uh, surprised North at North, uh, but they lost by just three at North. Uh, they lost by the pier by just two. Uh, but today, I think South had it pretty good for them today that uh, things were going pretty well. I wonder if Jess Woodgerber is going to take a picture of you in, okay. in, in your... In your uh... Let it be the best thing on this camera. <laughs> <laughs> Again, today's I thought South from the get-go was pretty much in control. A little short run by Southwest to cut the lead to sec six, but when they came out in the second half, a quick start put this game pretty much away. Yeah, like I said, I, I think they, they, they played with some, uh, I think this, this team's time to play with a lot of heart. Well, they had a 13-4 run to start the second half, and uh, that was too much for uh, Southwest to get it close. Got down to 9 or 10, but again, as I've been saying all day, I never felt like there was any worry that there was going to be a loss today. And again, thanks for coming up. I yeah, appreciate uh, it. Anytime you need help, I'll do this. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> well, I had other people I tried to get a hold of, and then... Uh, being a Saturday was kind of complicated when it did work out this morning. You're, I, I'm serious. You were who I thought about, and I was waiting for you to walk through the door, and I knew, I was hoping you'd do it. There, I like that kid. I, he's going to be a player uh, when these seniors go. Watch for uh, Jared Henderson to be an impact player years to come, number 11.
Well, Coach, I'm going to run down and do some interviews okay. right after the game. And any final thoughts for you uh, about how everything went today? Well, I, hey, listen, I, I thought this was a, a good win for South. Um, keep that uh, Woody streak going, and uh, you know, hopefully we can keep it going next week. Yeah, have a good week next week. Short week for South this week, playing a couple games. Uh, they they are going to now improve uh, on their season. Well, they are now five and four, three and two in the conference. And again, it's getting all bundled up. So it'd be interesting to see as as it progresses through January and February how this conference race turns out. And on any given day, I think South can beat anyone. Oh, I do too. They beat Bayport last year. Yep. And a miss there. So. Yeah. Well, thanks for coming well, in, Coach. I'm going to run down. And, folks, when we return, uh, hopefully we'll have a couple uh, victorious uh, Red Wings with me. Living near the water, it's a dream come true for many except when there's flooding or a hurricane. That's why people who live near lakes and rivers, by the ocean and bayside, are working with their local planners to make sure that protection from all sorts of natural disasters is part of the planning process. Learn more at planning.org. That's planning.org. Okay, so what would you bring to my company? What do you need? I need problem-solving skills. I got through high school without a car, a phone, or a computer. No college degree, though. Not yet, but life's taught me a lot, and I'm ready for more. Well, you're not the typical kind of candidate that I hire. But you are exactly what I'm looking for. Your company could be missing out on the candidates it needs most. Learn how to find a great pool of untapped talent at grad school. Todd's a great guy. I mean, look at him. What a sweetheart. Attaboy. Wait, Todd, what are you doing? How totally selfish and untod like of you. Come on, Todd. Come on, man. Wow, these are really good. You act surprised. makes perfect. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection. Hey, we're back here with a couple of happy Red Wings. Jared, let's start with you a little bit. Hey, a couple big victories this week, huh? It's got to be nice coming after Christmas break. Yeah, good victories, good team wins. Uh, we, we're clicking on all cylinders, and it just felt good to get two solid wins. Now, you guys played a lot of games early in the year where you got all your non-conference in, and you had kind of the Christmas break time off. You think that was a benefit for you guys? Get your legs back, or tell us a little bit about your Christmas vacation with basketball and things. It was it was a uh, well-needed break. I mean, we were kind of dinged up, and uh, well-needed break. And uh, we came back. We bonded over uh, Christmas break, and I think it helped. Now, now you guys beat Southwest today. You didn't win the state championship, but. <laughs> You got a pretty good group of guys here. <laughs> oh, yeah, great group of guys. We've been playing all together for 12, eight, 12 years, and it's just fun. And how's your kid brother hanging out with you guys? Uh, he's, a, he's, he's fun. He's a little Energizer bunny, and it's nice to have him around. He's stepped up his game, and I think he's proved that he can play at our level. Now, we said uh, we interviewed him in the last game. We said he doesn't drive the bus, though, does he? No. <laughs> Dylan, it's always nice when you're out on the floor. I think that helps the rest of the team to have that big fella out there and relieve so much pressure for everybody else. And I tell you, it's been a big impact and having a nice year. Thank you. <laughs> I've uh, been working hard, put a lot of work in and on the, over the off season, just trying to make sure I can do what I can to help the team. So being the, really the big biggest guy in the team and stuff, you're playing, a, there's some big guys in this league and stuff like that you got to match up on week for week. You like that little challenge? Oh, yeah. I, I love taking on the challenge, like a uh, Blum or 
pretty much anyone that come in the league. I don't underestimate anyone coming in the Southwest. I uh, kind of expected some strong guys, and I saw it, and just want to keep working at it. Now defense is a big thing, and I saw Coach Risto out there. God, I hate playing de zone defense to out there, but you kind of mix things up there, trying a little different zones and a little man-to-man, uh, -man and kind of mix it up and makes things tough. Defense important for you guys? Oh, yeah. Defense is a big emphasis for us. We practice it every single day, sometimes for 30 minutes or more in practice. We always just try to make sure that we uh, are prepared for the next game. All right. Congratulations for that. Got your three-point shot going a little bit there. Hit those three threes in the first half to help things. Kind of got a little cog, so it was nice to hit those threes, huh? Yeah, definitely. Coming off my broken wrist last year, it took a little bit of time to get my shot back, but all of us put in a lot of work in the offseason. Coach Davis coming over here really helped that, and uh, I got my three-point shot back, and it feels good. He got one today, too. Yeah, he did. It was nice cousin getting that three-point <laughs> shot in there. <laughs> now, the offense, you know, to today, I thought you guys started fast in the first half, started fast in the second half. Offensive flow really worked well, which helped contribute today. Yeah, I mean, I love our new dribble drive offense. Coaches really let us do whatever we want with the offense as long as we're moving. Uh, I mean, we got people who can score the ball on the team, so it's really nice having that freedom. And with that, too, you allow it. I, I kind of said this earlier in the season when we did some of your earlier games. It, anybody can shoot. You know, there's no restriction to who can't shoot, which which would be nice for all the guys to play, too. Yeah, it really is. I mean, you might even see a three from this guy this year. Coach Rank doesn't want to hear that. <laughs> Coach Rank, but we will. If you guys are up, we'll, it's okay with that. I'll ask you one quick thing. How do you like playing for your dad? I mean, I've been waiting my whole life to play high school basketball with my dad. He kind of helped coach when I was little and then took some time off. But, I mean, we've been waiting for this moment for a while. Hopefully we can make a run at it this year. And I think you guys are really starting to play really well. And I'd be scared to play you guys. And, you know, it's nice to see you guys gel, and it's been fun. Hey, congratulations to Sheboygan South today. They picked up a big victory today, 84 to 65. Our next broadcast will be, be next Saturday where these gentlemen will be taking on the North Siders and things. So we'll be here at about 10 to 6 for the uh, girls' game followed by the boys' game as well. Uh, for my partner today who was... was uh, was Leroy Hamilton. I don't know if you guys knew that, but we had Logan's dad up there. I appreciate that because Marty was gone. And for the crew, that'll be it. We'll see you next Saturday night right back in this gym.